بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome to Sparkling Knowledge Channel. Behlul and another thief. It is said that Behlul lived in a desolate house. Across it was a cobbler's shop, which had a window opening towards the house. Behlul collected a few dirhams and hid them in the dirt. Whenever the need came, he dug up the dirt and took out the needed coins and buried the rest back again. As it so happened, one day when he needed some coins, he dug the earth and saw that all of his money had disappeared. He immediately understood that the cobbler whose window faced his house had taken the coins. Without making any comments or commotion, Behlul went and sat by the cobbler to chit-chat. Behlul talked so much that the cobbler became confident and not uneasy. Then Behlul said, Beloved friend, Please keep an account for me. You keep talking and I'll keep adding. Behlul talked about some houses and buildings, and with each he mentioned some coins. Then he said that in the house he, he now lived, in there was buried a certain amount of coins. After that the cobbler added them up, all up and said, that there were about total of 2,000 dinars. Behlul thought for a while and said, Oh friend, now I want some advice from you. Okay, speak. I want to bury all the coins I have at the other places in the house that I live in now. What do you think? A very good idea. Bring all your coins you have hidden and bury them in your present house. I agreed to this. Now I will b go bring all the coins from other places to bury in that house. Saying this, Belul left the cobbler. The cobbler thought to himself, I will bury those coins I stole back where they were. When Belul brings the other coins, I will find them and take all of them at once. Thinking this, he returned the stolen coins to the previous place. So, uh, uh, a few hours later, Behlul went to his house and examined the area that he kept his money in and saw that the cobbler had reburied the coins he had stolen. Behlul took out the coins, thanked Allah, left that house and went to another. The cobbler waited a very long time for Behlul but he was not going to be and could not be found. After a while, the cobbler finally understood that Balu had tricked him and so had got his money back. 